Hello everybody, I'm Lana, aka Creative Mom EF2 and welcome back. Today is yet another day we are working on The Beast by Mandy Manzano. This is the full picture and this is where I am. So I'm about here somewhere. So yeah, I still have a pretty long way to go, but we are slowly getting there. So yeah, today we are, as you might expect, and probably noticed by the title of this video, we are doing another work and chat. So grab whatever it is you are working on, and let's have a ramble, shall we? So how was your week? Mine was pretty okay. The week itself wasn't that spectacular, but my Saturday was good. Yesterday, so Sunday for me. Also wasn't too spectacular, but oh well. So yeah, actually the like the whole week was pretty uneventful. But first off, how are you all doing? I hope you had a great week. I've had a bit of a a little bit uh, more interesting week than I did. And I hope you had some better, or at least less hot weather than we had here on Saturday, because it was way too hot for the Netherlands. It was, at least in my area, it was about 36 degrees Celsius, which is pretty crazy for here. So, yeah. Luckily, we were at my parents' place, so they have a nice garden with a good terrace. Or, well, at least like a somewhat roofed over space. They also had a tent outside for the kids to play under, so... Yeah, lots and lots and lots of sunscreen later, and the kids, luckily, didn't get burned, so yay! <laughs> but yeah, they had a lot of fun. My daughter was screaming and yelling and fussing and screaming some more like half the way home that she didn't want to go home. So yeah. Will be fun in a couple of weeks because we already planned to drop them off in a couple of weeks because yeah, well, my husband and I need some we time. And we also need to go shopping for ourselves for clothes because that's way too long ago. That we got at least got like a day for ourselves to go shopping. Well, actually, the last time we went shopping was like literally a couple of days before the first like fuller lockdowns were here in the annoying bug situation it wasn't like the first wave but it was the second because i know that we dropped off our daughter at my in-laws for once they wanted to babysit her because we needed to have some clothes because yeah especially with me being just pregnant at the time, I had not much pants left. And yeah, it is nice if you can try them. Um, yeah, we needed to take our son because yeah, he was a newborn at the time. He was, I think five months old or something. He luckily behaved most of the times if I'm remembering correctly. <laughs> but yeah, I, breastfed him so I couldn't just hand him off to my parents-in-law to well, babysit him so yeah he had to come along luckily he did behave most of the times but yeah our son is already two now and our daughter will be turning four next week when I'm filming this in literally a week I have a four-year-old uh, it's crazy. 
It's really crazy to think about it. So yeah. And yeah, we also have a wedding in the end of the year of my cousin. And yeah, I have like an outfit I wear for like weddings and like somewhat more formal occasions, but that is by now slowly too far gone and I have been using that for like semi-formal occasions for longer than I know my husband and we know each other for over nine years now so it wouldn't surprise me if I have that dress kind of thing for like 15 years so yeah it needs an upgrade but yeah with my shape dresses well not specifically my shape but more like my build i have pretty wide hips and a at least somewhat flat stomach and yeah if well, if you've been here before, I know I said it more often, but <laughs> if it hits me in the wrong spot, it looks like I'm like six months pregnant or something. And that's not a look I am going for because, yeah, it was fun when I was pregnant, but not if I'm not. <laughs> so, yeah. Not planning on looking pregnant, so... <laughs> Where is that cover? There it is. But yeah, so I need to have something that's a little bit more formal-ish, but yeah, not like a real cocktail trash or something. So yeah, something a little bit more fancy, but yeah, I dislike especially buying dresses online, regular. T-shirts is somewhat decent, but because most of the times I do know my size, but dresses, it's really depending on the shape and the pattern and where like the waistline, so to say it, of the dress is, because if it's too high, I look pregnant. Is it too low and too loosely fitting around my stomach? I look pregnant and yeah, it's a whole... It's a whole thing. <laughs> so yeah, I do need to shop some more. <sighs> My husband also needs some new clothes. Luckily for him, past winter we got some stuff, but yeah, he's fussy with clothes just as I am. And on top of that, it's just, yeah, we want to have a day off of the kids because the last time we had alone time was the last week of November of last year. So last weekend of November of 2021, that is, yes, it is, <laughs> or at least was. <laughs> And that was because we needed to go to Utrecht for the surgery of my husband. So that wasn't like a real downtime day for us. And basically that was the first time we had like more than three, four hours that were completely without the kids. So yeah. <sighs> it's necessary. Because, yeah, especially I myself find that I, I am getting a little bit of a short fuse because my daughter is quite a fosser, at least at the moment, so. I don't have as much patience as I had before. I'm trying to not lose it, but at times, yeah, I just lose my patience. Oh, well. Can't do much about it. The whole annoying bug didn't help though. 
because yeah I've been cooked up in here way too long with only our daughter I could yeah put her in the stroller and walk to like the city center or something but with the kids during the annoying bug time it wasn't that possible and yeah, the numbers are going up here again, so I fear in a couple of weeks slash months they might be as high that there are new restrictions coming up, so yeah, we're like, we really need to do it now, otherwise we have the possibility that it doesn't happen, and I don't want to risk it. Might not be necessary that there's new lockdowns or restrictions or anything, but at this point in time, I am not taking chances. <sighs> I want to lock. Oh well. But yeah, I'm not taking any chances because, yeah, well. Hey, it's been already too long ago. So yeah, my husband plan and I plan on, well, it's depending on whether or not he has the day completely off, because most of the times on Friday he has to work until one o'clock and then he's off. So either we both drive to my parents in the morning to drop off the kids, or I drive by myself to drop the kids off, depending a bit on the situation then but yeah around lunchtime I'm I or we head home have lunch in case my husband needs to work he then can get home then we I'll most likely time it that I can grab some lunch for him as well Eat it at home or we eat it together if he has his day off. And then we'll just either he needs to change from his work clothes in his regular clothes or we can just eat on the road and then go shopping and have some fun time. Because yeah, I am really in need for some quality time with my husband. We're trying to get some quality time every week. At least once a week we try to do a date night. Which is basically either watch a TV show or a movie. Or just play board games. Lately we have been playing Ticket to Ride again. So that's also a really fun game. We love to play that game. We got for our birthdays we got a new pack we got the rails and sails board it's two-sided and it's extra big so that's that's a really fun game we also have a basic version well basically yeah we have one basic and one extension pack but that's a fun game to play so yeah, I at least try to do at least once a week, do a date night. We also got one extra yesterday. Because, well, ended up like that. <laughs> Sometimes it just happens. But most of the time, so Wednesday is date night. I need to look on a baby monitor for just a second, so hold on. Okay, and I'm back. <laughs> yeah, I thought I heard something, so I better check before we run across the hall or something. Yeah. Can't wait to have like a full 24 hour or about that time. Space from the kids. I'm sure I will, I will miss them in the meantime, but it's also time to have some time for ourselves, so yeah. 
But first things first, we first have this upcoming Saturday. We have our daughter's birthday party. Because Monday she will be turning four. Yay! And as soon as she finally is potty trained, she can go to school. So, fingers crossed that it will happen soon. So she can, after the summer holiday, she can go to school. Because, yeah. She needs it and I need it. <laughs> because, yeah, she is sometimes way too smart for me. And also, I at times want my breathing space a little bit. And it's also really good for her to have some fun times with her own... Well kids of her own age instead of only her brother and me and an evening slash weekends her dad so yeah it's time but yeah they want to have the kids fully body trained like accidents happen but most of the times they need to well tell And she can, but she just won't. So, yeah. I think we'll just need to be tough with her in a couple of weeks. Like when it's good weather for a couple of days. Hopefully we can do it if my husband is home. So maybe during the weekend or on a summer break or something. That will basically let her play outside and just be having her run around without a diaper. So it's like basically like, hey, if you don't want to go to the party, you'll just wet your pants. But oh well, we'll see. Hopefully it clicks before then and she's pretty trained. But yeah. It's going better with her son than with her, our, our daughter and she's two years older than him. So. Oh well, can't rush them even though I love to do that. <laughs> yeah, so her daughter will be four, as I mentioned multiple times by now. <laughs> so we'll most likely do something fun with her on her birthday. Because yeah, it's on a Monday, so we can hold her party on Saturday, have them relax for a little bit on Sunday, and then have like our birthday for her on Monday. We, uh, She's a handful at times, but I still wouldn't miss her for the world. And she's funny though. Because I, as I said last week, I thought I would write some things down, things that my kids said, at least basically this week. I have five things that stuck out of the rest. One is of my son. And the rest is of my daughter. But yeah, her son is not as much talking as her daughter is at this time. So yeah. He's funny in the way that he is acting like a cat. So he is like literally rubbing his head against her leg. Crawling around and butts his head up against her leg and starts meowing. So it is still fun, but it's different fun. It's fun things he does, not fun things he says. So yeah, what he said last week that was fun, he was basically, excuse me, not singing along with a song, but we had a TV on and we had a TV show that my husband and I watched when we were kids. So it's not true. <laughs> It is called Ernst, Bobby and the Rest. So, translated Ernst, Bobby and the Rest. So it's pretty much the same as 
in Dutch as in English, but just to make sure you understand it. <laughs> Somewhere in the theme song of that show, they have the sentence, um, if I'm correctly, making homework, playing piano, or something like, it's not no fun things, it's like uh, making homework, playing piano, bleh. And you can probably guess. My son was dancing to the song and when he said blah, he was like at the same time, yeah. <laughs> so it was pretty fun and cute. My husband and I needed to seriously laugh at that. So, yeah. <laughs> Our daughter, on the other hand, has a lot more of those things that you're like, seriously, how do you think about it? We do have a saying here in the Netherlands that is cat in a bucky, which is basically cat in a, it's the best translation, bin, I think, bin, container, box, something like that. But in Kattenbak is a litter box. And she loves to, sh to watch the show um, oh, what's it called again? Gabby's Dollhouse. And somewhere in that show, I believe they said like something cut in a bucky. I believe it was in like being like easy peasy. So that's basically where cut in a bucky stands for. It's like easy peasy. But she uses it as like, oh, dang it, something isn't working. So she'll be like, instead of being like, oh, dang it, it doesn't work. She'll be like, katabaki, <laughs> which is pretty cute. I don't know how well it translates, but <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> then I do need to grab out my Notebook because I don't know out of the top of my head what other one was. Oh yeah, she also likes to watch a show called Tots. It is basically like a flamingo and a penguin delivering baby animals. It's on Disney Plus, I believe. So maybe you know it, maybe you don't. But at least it's like a a animal baby baby animal delivery service themed show kinda something <laughs> not making much sense I know so my daughter was laying upstairs and it was like yeah it's time for her to go to come downstairs it's like come you coming downstairs and she was like no nah. She was like, do you want to watch Tots? And like literally her reaction was like, Tots? And zoof, out of bed. <laughs> she literally on the moment she said Tots, she bounced up and almost flew down. She was pretty quick. <laughs> so yeah, that was, that was pretty funny actually. At least I thought that. <laughs> She was like, oh, I can watch that. Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, my notebook isn't in the way. Because, <laughs> yeah, otherwise you could see how bad my handwriting is. <laughs> and it's not good. And then we also had a teriyaki chicken today. And yeah, yucky, as in not nice. But she made it like she was. Oh, she was eating nicely, and all of a sudden she was like, "Yucky chicken is nice." <laughs> so it was like, and that doesn't make sense because yucky, as in yuck, it's like basically like roast chicken is nice. What? 
And then she pointed at the food, so we're like, ah, teriyaki chicken is nice. And she was like, yeah, yucky chicken is nice. It's like, no, it's called teriyaki. She was basically looking at us like, what? It will be, and she tried to say it, and yeah, she came pretty close, but yeah, I at least thought it was fun. You might think I have weird sense of humor, but yeah, many things just don't always translate as well. But still, for me, they were funny. <laughs> and I also do have a strange sense of humor, so it might be both. Yeah, and the last one that I wrote down, at least I believe. <laughs> yeah, that was the last one. It was with my parents, so... I'll give some background story. We were, as I said before, at my parents last Saturday. Or I don't know if I said, but we were at my parents because my dad had his birthday. And yeah, it was too extremely hot. So we went, we took the swimsuits along for the kids so they could play in the water and yeah, we only had their regular shoes and socks. So we didn't have anything that they can, could have walked on, on like tiles outside. So we're like, well, let them walk on their socks. And we went to the city closest to where my parents live. Well, it's not actually city, but the village. There were, there were some more shops. Let's call it like that. The shopping place. <laughs> so we went there to get them some water shoes. So they at least had something that we could allow them to, well, trash around <laughs> and basically get wet. So yeah, we got those and we saw a little pool for them. We also bought some toys for them to play with. Oh with at our parents place because they didn't have a ball or something because yeah our kids aren't often there so most of the times my parents come to us because yeah we had yeah our son that needed to nap during daytime and he uh, hardly sleeps out of our own house so yeah he's a fussy one but now he's at an age where he can skip his nap so we just did that So they stayed at my parents and my husband and I got shopping. So we got them some toys for at my parents because especially if we are planning on having their stay having them stay there for a day and a night to sleep over, then it would be nice if the kids have something to play there. So we we're like, well, if they have good weather, they can have some sidewalk chalk and a ball. And we also got them a small pool. Which when we got back and wanted to inflate it, we found out that it also had like a swimming band, like a, a ring and a beach ball. So when my daughter was playing, she got the ring around her body. As is normal. Let's see how long I'm filming. Oh. And well, she basically got on a distance and all of a sudden yelled, out of my way, otherwise you're getting wet. And she ran to the pool and well, when she almost was at the pool, she almost stopped and then jumped over the edge. <laughs> And jumped in the pool with as much force as she could, so she would splash pretty big <laughs> for such a tiny, small thing. <laughs> so yeah, it was fun. Every time then she dropped down, she stood back up, went out of the pool, walked like two meters away, and again, out of the way, otherwise you're getting wet, and she started running again. <laughs> Yeah, that was pretty hilarious. At least we thought all so. 
We, uh, we had fun with my parents. And especially the kids had fun, so. <laughs> my son was so tired he fell asleep in the car and he rarely does that. He and also my daughter have not gotten the memos that kids normally sleep in the car. They don't. Or, well, they hardly do. My son did like the first few months, but yeah, the annoying bug made sure that we didn't go out of the house that often, so he got used to just staying indoors and sleeping in his bed. So he got spoiled a bit. Oh well. Yeah, I think I rambled on for long enough now. I am going to finish this one, this little bit, and then I am going to work on, again, my other, well, my other off-screen projects, like my AliExpress kits. I do need to edit and voice over an unboxing that I just filmed that most likely will already have been up like yesterday. And yeah, so I have enough to do to keep me busy for at least half an hour or something. So yeah, if you like me rambling on about nothing as most of the times, well, <laughs> You know me by now. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> but yeah, again, I hope you liked this rambly video. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.